Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video, well you can tell by the title, it's not going to be makeup. Um, I just want to say, when I started this channel, I really, really wanted to incorporate different things. I didn't only want to do makeup. I wanted to, you know, give advice. In my personal life, I love to give advice to people and help people out. So I really wanted to bring that into my videos on YouTube. And I did it in the beginning, but then I fell off. And now for the new year, I'm just like, you know what? I need to do what I love. You know, I love doing makeup on myself. But I also love helping out people. So this year, I'm just, you know, really pushing forward to do um, more talks and if you guys need any advice anything just you know you can always write me in the comments or on my other social media you know you can um, send me a message or whatever the case is today's video is going to be on how to let go of the negative and to be more positive we all go through so much we can go through heartbreak or anything it could be any type of thing that it just brings us into a negativity mindset and we just you know hold so much anger inside um and we just never talk about it you know we feel like the only way we can be strong is if we act strong and we don't cry or we don't speak um honesty about our feelings but that's not the case this is for females and males you know the only way we are going to be stronger is if we talk about how we feel inside because that's how we will get better and learn from it six steps that help me out on a daily basis and you know when i go through anything it helps me out so i'm just gonna give it to you guys and yeah so let's just get right into it i feel like the reason why we don't have a positive mindset is if we are holding on to something negative um it could be angst something that happened um we have anger towards something so this is why we don't have a positive mindset the first step to letting go is to analyze the situation now in other words is to get um to the root of where the negativity and anger is developing from i realized when anything bad happens to us we kind of just push it to the side like oh i'm good i'm, I'm all right like that didn't hurt me but deep down it really does hurt and that's why we become so negative and angry because we don't analyze that situation we don't just stop and be truthful to ourselves because when you tell someone else oh yeah i'm you know i'm okay that it hurt us you're telling yourself that as well so you're moving on acting like nothing ever happened but the only thing that's going to happen is something even worse one day you're just gonna just break on someone that didn't even do anything to you so before lashing out on someone that's trying to help you and be there for you really get to the root of the problem to be strong you don't have to act like you're always great and everything's perfect no one's perfect we all have problems we all go through issues you have to honestly be honest with yourself and tell yourself like if something happens really feel it you know if you get heartbroken feel that heartbreak cry get in that emotion um look at the whole situation and kind of analyzing like where did it go wrong you know was it me not really like really realizing that this wasn't for me it could be from a from a person a friendship a family member um a, a, a from relationship it could be a job it could be anything that broke you down into the negativity that you're are in now so you when you analyze that you kind of realizing like yes i have a problem like yes i am negative and i am angry because of this situation when you honestly say it out loud it's like a breath of fresh air because now you know there's something wrong and you can fix it now you can fix it it's like anything you know it's like anyone that has an addiction or anything once you analyze the disease then you can nip it in the butt then it comes to number two talk about it you can try to go to someone that you really trust deep down in your heart you know who you can trust because that person you don't feel no bad vibes towards them once you find that person that you can trust talk to them tell them about your situation cry it out you know like really just let everything go you can even have a journal please have a journal and write everything down as well because once you write everything you know all that bad negativity and anger is not consuming your mind you're letting it go and you're putting it down on paper and also you're talking to someone so that's also a great thing to do that's step two talk to someone 
talk to write in your journal have a journal you know it's not stupid to write down your feelings it's not stupid to um talk to someone and say yes i have a problem i need help no it's never that's never stupid that's honestly you being strong and you're growing because when you analyze that situation you are helping yourself to learn from it so then you can grow from it and know how to do better and talk to someone that you know that's going to be honest with you that's not going to give you that's not going to sugarcoat anything i can't be around someone that's going to sugarcoat everything for me don't sugarcoat nothing for me be honest with me if i'm wrong let me know i'm wrong if i'm bugging out let me know girl it's all right you know tell me your honest truth don't say what you think i want you to say but always go to someone that when you talk to them you know you are going to get an honest um, um feedback you're not getting bullshit so go to someone that's truthful but that's kind with their words you know that's trying to help you you know not trying to bring you down but trying to help you and uplift you three people are going to look like really really but it's to meditate we, sometimes we really don't just focus on ourselves. and meditation is focusing on ourselves, on our mind that is making us escape every thought um i'm not gonna lie meditating it's kind of hard in the beginning i was like what the hell like i cannot do this at all you know they say oh when you meditate you're not supposed to think about anything you're supposed to have a clear mind but it is hard it is so so hard to do that i don't care what anybody says to be when you, especially a beginner it's hard to just meditate and not think of anything so to me when i started i started like five i started doing five minutes and a minute i couldn't i couldn't even sit down and relax a minute i felt like i was jumpy and antsy like i, I like my body was like no what are you doing so i started doing it little by little and every single time i was doing it i was i was being consistent and i was doing like three times a week and i was trying to do five at least five minutes to sit down and relax and once i accomplished that and now i'm in 10 minutes i also have my headphones on and i put um meditation music i will link the um youtube channel i will link the youtube channel that i listen to i love their meditations um music it calms me and i also put an alarm on to only put 10 minutes so once i'm done it would stop the um meditation music but for like five minutes i let my mind wander and like let the thoughts just pass by and then i start focusing on the music and my breath you know inhaling one two three exhaling one two three and i just calm down and then once i'm done i feel so calm like it's not weird and you can meditate anywhere you can meditate in your bed you know on the floor somewhere um anywhere that you feel comfortable you can i feel like you can meditate we always have negative thoughts like i feel like that would never go anywhere like we will always have negative thoughts but it's how you use it if you're going to focus on the negativity then that's you going into that negative world that you're not going to be happy or you can look at the negativity and be like no i'm okay and go straight to another path the positive side you know switch the negative into a positive the fourth one that's affirmations affirmations you have has to be positive affirmations something that's going to uplift you you when we say i can't i won't um i want i need when you say i can't or i won't that's saying whatever you're desiring you're never gonna get it when you say i want or i need it, you're saying that i don't have it but i wish i did you have to say, I am. You have to be positive and say it like you already have it and you're in the present moment of it. And when you do your affirmations, you can look in the mirror you can, every day. Look in your mirror. Like, if you feel like you're ugly, look in your mirror and be like, I am beautiful. I'm, you know, I'm beautiful in my own way. I love myself. I am a wonderful, beautiful person. Like, it might sound stupid, but... Once you start doing it, you're boosting yourself. You're making yourself a little more excited. You're making yourself feel wonderful. When you say negative things to yourself, you feel bad. You really feel horrible. You feel angry. You don't feel positive or you don't believe in yourself to do anything. If you can put that much focus and energy into being negative, why don't you just at least try to be positive and see where that goes? Because you're already making everything more negative the way you think so if you can if that that's showing you your life is negative because of what you're thinking inside so change that mindset into being positive because you cannot have a positive life with a with a negative mind you cannot at all 
you can't say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a positive person, all this and that, but you're judging people, you're speaking down on people, you're, talk, you're gossiping about people. You have to change your ways. So all you have to do is you have to start with affirmations to yourself. Because the reason why you're speaking that way is because you're not loving you. And that's the reason why you're in this state of mind of negativity. And now reading self-help and personal growth books. When you feel down on yourself, you need a, a pick-me-up. And that pick-me-up could be a book. You can, if, re, um, you can, if you don't want to read, you can use the auto books. I feel like these books actually help because when you're down in a negative state and you don't have no motivation for yourself, when you read these books, you kind of, it's like a spark that hit me when I did it, like a spark, like, oh my God, I, I said that before. I used to think that, you know, there's certain things that you would read and you would even realize things that you used to think, but you, you thought you was bugging out or somebody that around you thought you was bugging out. But when you read it, it's like, oh my God, that's what I said, you know? So it's like confirming the, the things that you were thinking. And from there, you can just keep on going forward because you know you was on, a, on the right path. Reading these books helps you encourage yourself, motivate yourself to do better. It might sound stupid, like, why would we need a book? But it's like, why are you still in your negative ways? Because we need help. We need help. It could be from other people. It could be from reading. It could be anything. Reading is one of the most fundamental things in life. I think reading is one of the best things because it works your brain and it teaches you things like it, it, you you can read and you won't know a word and you're like oh let me see what that word now you have a new word to to put in your vocabulary you know it, it enhances everything in your life why because you're opening your mind to different things when you're reading and from there you will feel more upbeat and positive why because you're consuming positive things i'll link the books that help me in the description below number six doing things that make you happy and being around people that are good for you you cannot have a positive life when you have a negative mind and you surround yourself with negativity all the time so you need to declutter your life so number six is going to be easy because once you start doing one through five each step you're going to start realizing who was too negative for you like Everybody in your life, you're going to start realizing, like, wait, that person's too negative. Um, what I was doing, what I was eating was too, like, it's not good for me. It was too negative. It's too negative situation. Like, it wasn't helped me at all. And then you're going to start attracting to the things that are actually good for you and that actually make you happy. And this could be reading this could be working out this could be taking a run in the morning you know just walking um going um volunteering at animal shelter as we be around family loved ones friends whatever the case is you're going to start realizing the things that really are good for you it's all on you and what your life becomes because you have the power to do if you don't put that effort into doing it then you're going to be stagnated in the same situation with those same negative people, with the same drama. I'm gonna let you know, no matter what, you are not always gonna be positive. Even positive, I'm like, I'm upbeat, I'm always happy, but I do have my downfalls. We all do. No matter how positive you are, you will always have your downfalls. But everything happens to see if you're actually really learning from your mistakes from the past or you just keep on repeating them. And that concludes this video. I hope this video was helpful and not all over the place. Like, I hope please bear with me if it was because once i start talking i just start going really into it and i get off topic and i'm like wait samantha this that wasn't the topic at all so sorry about that if it was all over the place but if you have you know any thoughts or you know situations and you need help you can comment below i would answer you but if you want it to be private i you can hit me up on a private message um i have instagram facebook um, Twitter. You can hit me up on those um, platforms and I will write back to you as well on that. If you want to see a look on this, on this eye look, you can thumbs it up or you can let me know down below or in a private message or whatever the case is. And with that being said guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like my video and subscribe to me and I'll see you next time guys. Bye!